In this problem, we have a diagram of some electric field lines and two points within that field. We are told that the electric field lines on the left side of this diagram have twice the separation of the lines on the right. We're also told that the magnitude of the electric field at point A is 40 newtons per coulomb. We are asked to find the magnitude of the force on a proton at point A. We know that the electric force on a charge due to an electric field is equal to the charge on the particle within the field times the vector value of the electric field at that point. We are only asked to find a magnitude, but since this is a vector equation, I'll still treat it as one for just a moment. Let's set the axis such that the positive x-axis stretches to the right of this image. Therefore, our formula is equal to the positive charge of the particle times the negative value of the electric field with the i-hat unit vector, since our electric field is clearly acting toward the negative x-axis. This gets us a value of negative 6.4 times 10 to the negative 18th newtons times the i unit vector. Now let's convert this into a magnitude by removing the unit vector and the negative sign. And our final answer for part A is the magnitude of the force that we just calculated. Part B of the problem asks us to find the magnitude of the electric field at point B. Based on conventions that electric field lines follow, the crowdedness, or the density, of field lines are intended to be proportional to the strength of the field itself. Since we're told by the problem that the field lines at B are separated twice as much as the field lines at point A, we can assume that the electric field at A, or E sub A, is equal to twice E sub B, the electric field at B. From this, we can infer that E sub B is equal to E sub A divided by 2, which tells us that the field's magnitude at point B is equal to 40 newtons per coulomb divided by 2, or 20 newtons per coulomb.